Hi guys, Adam Sanders here. I'm filming this video in response to Dennis LD's glassware challenge video that he recently posted. He showed off his beer glass collection and he asked others to do the same. So here's what I've got. Uh, you will notice that I have a lot of duplicate glasses and the reason for this is that every Wednesday I head over to my favorite bar which is called Tyler's Tap Room in Durham, North Carolina and every Wednesday it's pint night. The way Pint Night works is if you order the pint of the night, which is always a different beer from a different brewery, you get to keep the glass. So I usually have two or three, and so then I bring home two or three of the same glass. Here's what I've got. Okay, I've got my glasses all laid out here on the kitchen table. I tried to divide them, give them some kind of order. I sorted them by brewery and then a little bit by style as well. By the way, I've got my child B here, and so if you hear sounds in the background, that's what it is. Remember kids, when you're watching your own kid, it is not babysitting, it is parenting. Okay, so I've got a couple Lowenbrow mugs here that I use very seldom. They're actually the only beer glasses that I keep in the freezer in case people come over and want a frozen beer mug. I don't usually do that. I've got a Samuel Adams mug here, and, uh, and then I've got one of those Samuel Adams glasses that they are uh, currently marketing with all the fancy beer technology, the laser etching, the raised kind of bubble around the lip and I don't know if it does anything but I do like that glass. All right, we come now to my favorite style of beer glass uh, that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I have six of these. It's the dogfish head glass. I just love the heft of the glass. I love the way that it fits in your hand. Uh, the curvature fits in your hand really nicely and then you see how it comes up narrower here at the top and that really condenses the head and um, just lets the aroma out well. I love these glasses. I've got a couple of the Bell's Oberon Ale glasses. I have three of the Ska Brewing glasses and kind of like the style on this glass. I think I had that one. Got these when I had some Modus Hopper and I IPA. Got a couple of the left hand milk stout glasses. I have this original Sin Cider glass which really maybe shouldn't count as a beer glass since it's not a beer. It's not even a very good cider. I've got a Newcastle glass. Uh, now I have a few of these magic hat glasses. I have one number nine glass and then I have a couple glasses from their latest release which is called Vinyl. Really was not a very good beer but I do kind of like the graphic on it. It was designed by a rock and roll um, poster artist. Now I've got a few local glasses from North Carolina breweries. We have this Foothills glass, a Highlands Brewing glass. I do enjoy Highlands a lot. Um, this glass isn't very colorful though. Um, actually, this is not local. This is from Greenville, South Carolina. Thomas Creek Brewery. Uh, now these glasses are from a brewery just down the street, just about three miles from me. It's called uh, Lone Rider Brewing and they opened up maybe a year and a half ago. I really like these guys. Uh, oh, oops, a couple more Foothills glasses. Guess I wasn't organized there. I've got six Sierra Nevada glasses here. Three of them are for their spring beer, Glissade. And then I have a anniversary ale glass. And then I have a couple of these nice 20 ounce Sierra Nevada glasses that I like a lot. I got this when I had some, I think it was called Tommy Knocker Ale. It was from their homebrew competition. Okay, I've got this Bear Republic glass. Of course, Bear Republic Racer 5 is just a fantastic IPA. Um, I have this Gordon IPA. Beer, uh, beer glass, which is a Imperial IPA brewed by Oscar Blues Brewing. I love Gordon IPA, and so I was happy to get this glass. I've got a couple of these Green Flash Brewing Company glasses, which I had when I had some um, Green Flash West Coast style IPA, which is another one of my all-time favorite IPAs. I've got several of these Ranger IPA glasses by New Belgium Brewing, which is a new IPA, and it's pretty good. Okay, I have this McSorley's, McSorley's glass that I got for free when I bought a six pack of McSorley's Irish Pale Ale. That was just a horrible beer. So this glass always reminds me, do not buy a six pack of beer just because it comes with a free glass. Make sure it's gonna be a decent six pack first. That was just wretched. I think I ended up using it for cooking mostly. This is uh, some new glasses I just got a couple weeks ago uh, by Victory and it's for their Donnybrook Irish Stout which is a good Irish stout. It's really low alcohol. I think it was like 3.8%. Um, very good beer though. I have several of these Yingling Bot glasses, which I kind of like the design. You know, it's a, kind of a Pilsner, but it has the cur straight curved lines going outwards, a kind of Art Deco style, which I like a lot. 
I also have this Mama's Little Yellow Pills glass by Oscar Blues Brewing, and I think this is just a fantastic Pilsner, and uh, I do like this glass as well. I've got a couple of these Bell's Pilsner glasses, and then I have this Tucher. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Tucher, Tucher, Hefeweizen, half, um, half liter glass, which I like a lot. I don't have too many tulips, but I have a Delirium Tremens tulip, and then I've got a couple Victory Golden Monkey tulips. And last but not least, we come to the little tasting glasses. So I have this, which is a Harp Guinness Smittix glass. Um, I have this tasting glass from Red Hook Brewery. They're from uh, Seattle and Portsmouth, New Hampshire, I believe. I have this from the East Atlanta Beer Festival. And then I have a couple glasses I picked up at the World Beer Festival held in Durham every year. So that's it for my beer glass collection. This week at Tyler's Tap Room, the pint of the night is French Broad Wee Heavier Scotch Ale, so I'll be adding a few of those glasses to my collection. I look forward to seeing what you guys have and what you post on YouTube. See you later.